Welcome to another episode of ABC Useful Tip. In this video, we are going to show you a wonderful feature, new feature of Google Meet that is a jamboard of whiteboard directly in Google Meet. We're going to show you how you can actually create our class, our lessons, interactive lessons that are useful using this new jamboard function in Google Meet. In this video, we'll show you simple tips, all right, and awesome tips. Tip one that is how do you assess a pre planned or prepared jamboard directly in Google Meet. Tip 2, that is how do you step by step create a, an interactive jamboard. Tip 3, that is how do you convert a view only jamboard so that into an editable version where your participants or your students can also participate in answering your questions in the jamboard. If you like this video and you would like to be the first to be notified of future video, please remember to tap subscribe at the bottom or this like on top and tap on the bell and also just please leave me a comment. Okay, and Next, we will jump right in. Now, I will show you how to open up your Jamboard that you created, right, as a lesson to your students directly from the Meet. Okay, so what you can do is look for these three dots at the bottom right corner, click on it, and now you will see that there's a new function called Whiteboard, which is actually Jamboard. Okay, that you can access directly from here. I click on it, and then you can actually choose New Board. Alright, as a whiteboard totally for now, I'll be demonstrating how you can actually bring out a ready-made Jamboard to show your students and, uh, and uh, to go through the um, questions and answers that you have created within the Jamboard whiteboard itself. So now I'll show you how we can actually bring out the Jamboard that we created. Okay, I've already created this new Jamboard that I'll be demonstrating to you later. How do you do the Jamboard step by step? Okay, so now I'll just show you how this Jamboard can be used. In your panel in the recent, you should have already this Jamboard and I'll just bring it out. Click on it and open. And once the Jamboard is activated and you are presenting to the students, alright? Okay, you will have the panel where the Jamboard is. Cool. And then in your student's view, your student will also see the Jamboard immediately on the Google Meet. A okay, wonderful integration. So in this split screen, you will see that uh, the teacher's view here and the student's view here, they can see the presentation straight away. Alright, so the teachers can go through answers by quickly clicking on uh, highlighter or can just um, pen or marker and write something on it. Alright, so like circling answer here, okay, and then circling this to indicate what will be the activity here. So the teachers can go through the questions and answers straight away. Okay, street signs are written with certain letters. Okay, capital or capital. Cool. So in order to make this workable, okay, click on the select. This is actually a drag and drop activity created beforehand that we'll be showing you later. Okay, you can see that you can select either this or this answer for dragging over. Okay. Well done. Okay, and then for the second one, we will be demonstrating later that the student can be actually involved by changing the mode to editor so that the students can drag the answers over themselves. Cool. So now we'll go in and show you step by step how to create this Jamboard whiteboard activity. So for now, we'll demonstrate how do you create a Google Jamboard right, for preparation of a class right beforehand. Okay, so first, what you can do is within your the created um, folder right they want to save the Jamboard okay click new on the top left hand corner and then go to more all right then you'll be able to see Google Jamboard here click on it okay create click on create and share a new Jamboard will be created it's kind of note the purpose of this class lesson Jamboard is actually for to be acting like a um, whiteboard when you are actually doing um, remote teaching and learning all right that you can actually directly Assess from Google Meet itself. It's a new function that Google Meet wonderfully created. I'm going to show you step by step how do you create the class lesson sample. Okay, with the different tools that's available. All right. First of all, you can change the name of the Jamboard. All right, for to to the class requirement. All right, all the tools available we will use as many as possible. Okay, so for a start. Okay, it's good to actually have the title of the Jamboard right on top of it. Okay, so it's pretty simple to uh, add in title. The new function the Jamboard has created now, alright, is the text box 
function and this will be more visible for the students so we shall use this for now okay so wait the, after clicking the text box function you just click anywhere that you want to type your wordings okay so let's say for example this is um, okay uh, sentence right and then okay, we want to demo the homonyms okay so as this is the title what you can do is you make it very nice and neat right expand it to the bigger uh, length the full length right and you can actually change the color of these wordings by clicking the uh, letter a here all right and then change it to something that is more prominent right more visible you can also change it to a slightly bigger size all right by just quickly changing to a subtitle or even bigger title all right so but if you do you want a very specific size out of this what you can do is also you can just click on the box okay you will see the round dots at the corners and you can just click and drag the round dots all right and you can actually change the size straight away according to the size that you want precisely okay all right so of course it's a subtitle uh, it's a title for the page we will keep it horizontal if not you can actually click on this turning this arrow here at the top left hand corner and you can actually tilt it that way okay for now we'll just keep it horizontal cool all right so there's another function you can see out of this box is that you can see the three dots here when you click on the three dots you can straight away edit on it directly or you can duplicate it all right so you don't have to retype everything if some of the words is useful okay for example you may want to and then double click and then you may want to use homonym again all right just delete all right homonyms and then you can just change it to a smaller size change color okay and you can use it again later on all right we're moving somewhere okay change it to the size right in the middle okay if you want it to be centralized what you can do is you can click on here align alignment okay and change it to the center okay later we can use this in the uh, box that we have created cool okay so next what we can do is you can actually import other things into this like picture right beautiful pictures to highlight what you want to say okay but of course um i would like i would like to demonstrate to you how we can import boxes or uh, a table okay to insert a table right you can see here there's no insertion of files right so the only way is to insert a picture here all right from outside so what we can do is to create a table somewhere else yeah like for example using google slide okay all right i've prepared this um, table already okay and I, I wanted two questions with some answers to be written on the right okay so i can create here and then we'll make this a picture later okay so i can uh, click here sentence right and then i can click here answers well, beautify the table, increase the size of the titles, edit the questions, make it easy for the students to recognize. So now it is still changed into a picture so that you can import into the gen box. Okay, it is very simple, right? I have a uh, video that is on uh, just making this into a picture. Okay, so by using the snip, uh, snipping tool, you can do that. Okay, so click on the snipping tool. Okay, click on new. All right, and then you can just cut it up. Just the particular size that you need all right so after that you need to just save this into the folder and the folder change the name to the name that you want table in this case and click save all right so if not then what you can do is that you can actually convert this into picture directly from slide by just but you need to expand it to the full size of the uh, slide because it will be downloaded as a full slide version okay so I have the table as a full slide. Okay, then I will just go to file and then click on download, download JP, JPEG file. Okay, it will be downloaded here and then you can just go to the folder and copy the file. Control um, cut. Okay, in the folder, just click Control V. Keep the folder open. Alright, go back to your Jamboard. Now, just click add image to insert that picture okay so you just open your folder again all right and then you can just straight away click drag and drop into uploading panel okay once the picture is uploaded it will appear in the center of the picture right of your jambo and it's pretty small so you need to just adjust it okay cool 
align to the size that you want over here in the Jamboard itself. Okay, and uh, because it's a picture, you can actually adjust the size proportionally out. Okay, we also would like to highlight this synonym somewhere in the box. I put place it somewhere in the middle. Okay, cool. If you want the synonym to be appearing on top of the picture, which is later, alright. This is what you need to do is just click on the three dots, click order and bring it to front. And this time now the wordings will be appear on top. Alright. Okay, next I'm gonna demonstrate how you're gonna add in Texas text boxes that you can actually drag and drop right as a drag and drop activity right so you just have to click text again okay click anywhere you want right type in the word in this case capital is one of the answers all right and I can okay, move this around change it to a smaller font okay and then all right and then I change it to uh, orange as the answer as to indicate the answer, possible answer. Alright, the other answer will be like I uh, show you just now. You can click the three dots and duplicate. So in this case, you can just change it to the another alternative answer, capital. Okay, for them to choose. Okay, cool. So these two words. Alright, so it's to demonstrate that uh, you want them to bring this answer, either of the answer, the correct one, into this type answer box. So I'm going to show you the other function, which is uh, addition of or insertion of uh, pictures, uh, um, shapes. All right, shapes here, all right, including arrow. Okay, so you can just create an arrow here to show that you want them to bring this over. Okay, and this arrow can actually be highlighted with different colors. Okay, you can add in uh, blue color. All right, and you can change the um, outline colors as well. Okay, maybe you're ready. Cool. All right, so they will know that you're supposed to bring these two over as an answer. Can okay. all right. So uh, to just demonstrate, you can you can just drag it over. Or well, you can make the answer more interesting, more appealing. All right, by using this another function, which is the sticky note. All right, I would like to demonstrate. Okay, you can click on the sticky note, change the color to whatever the um, color you want of uh, this this few. Uh, colors is only okay and then the other answer can be this right okay so now you can bring the answers here already done the other one okay okay same size as the other one okay so alternative answers they can choose from okay so the, the arrow can also be duplicated by clicking the three dots here duplicate and then i can bring the arrow down Alright, to allow students to be able to assess your Jamboard and to be able to edit, okay, so that they can participate in your lesson, go to share box on top, top right hand corner, click on it, and alright, um, if it's just view only, currently you will see at the bottom, uh, whatever with this link can view, okay, so you just have to change it to click change and then change, click on this arrow, viewer into editor, whoever have this link will be an editor. Okay, done. So now what you will see in the teachers at the students page is that they can assess the Jamboard, right? Where they, they can actually click on this check with everyone icon and they will see this link here. They click on the link, they will be able to open up the Jamboard. Right now you can see this is the host view and this is the participant of the students view, right? With them being given the editor right now you can see that they also have this panel of um, Jamboard tools if they are in the viewers um, mode then this panel will be gone right so now they can participate in the activity let's say for example they are supposed to answer this question they put it back through the ball to the white receiver okay through or through okay so they click on the correct answer and they pull it over okay to the answers and the answers will be shown on the post view immediately which is presented. If you like this video and future video that will be coming up, please click subscribe at the bottom and click the bell. Right, or you can click the second in the middle. Right, I'll see you again. Take care.